This segment is sponsored by Attorney Noble McIntyre and McIntyre Law. Each month here on Living Oklahoma, we honor local teens making a difference in their communities. We call it a noble cause. Prominent Oklahoma City attorney and philanthropist Noble McIntyre is here with Gentry Rayburn. Thank you so much for joining us. Tell us all about uh, it. This morning we have Gentry. Gentry started 4-H in third grade, is that right? So she's wow. one of these kids that has been doing it ever since she can remember <laughs> talking. And she's now been doing it, now she's a senior. And when she was in seventh grade, and I'll let you tell most of the story, but she was telling me earlier about somebody called Kid President. Do you guys know who Kid President is? I Apparently, you know, know what we watched on YouTube when I was a kid? Nothing, it didn't exist yet, there was no internet. But she was watching something called Kid President on YouTube. And Kid Pre well, you tell the story. So um, Kid President makes videos and he wants to make the world more awesome is what he says. But um, he made a video called Socktober and it's a sock drive during the month of October where he collects socks to donate to those in need. And so he challenged his viewers to just kind of take it to make it their own. So that's what I did. I brought it to my 4-H club and I set up uh, socks during socks during the month of Socktober and just throughout our school buildings and collected socks during those. I how did it go? Felt so inspired and yeah. then made it, made it happen. You put yeah. action behind the words. So how did it go? How did it turn out? It went good. The first year, which was I was in seventh grade, we raised around 300 pairs. But as the years uh, went on, they uh, the socks came in more. And so then the past few years, we've raised around 2,000 each wow. year. And then last year was our biggest year. We raised over 3,200. And where do the socks go? So there are different organizations kind of throughout Corona County. And so I donate to them and they'll disperse them as needed and then as well as the local schools. That's amazing. Yeah. That is fantastic. And what she does is, as you guys can zoom in, she has a little thing that she'll mm -hmm. hang around town. They will tell people what she's doing. And as she said, she collected this last year, two to 3,000 pairs. And why that's important, a lot of people don't know. You think about it. The homeless folks out there, they don't even have a place sometimes to go clean their clothes. Mm -hmm. And when your feet get wet and dirty and cold, the military will tell you, one of the biggest mm -hmm. things is keeping military people's feet dry during mm -hmm. battle. And so it is a big, big deal. And I myself, and what I do with personal injury work, I will have clients sometimes that are homeless, and that's the biggest thing is trying to have clean clothes. And so what you're doing, which is why earlier I asked you, do you ever see the people you're giving it to? Because mm -hmm. I do a big turkey thing myself, and just me getting back from giving is very important. And so the fact that you're able to sometimes hear about what your project's doing and see those people is tremendous. Now, the other thing she's doing is she's been the one running the show for yeah, the seventh grade. Wow. She's going off to Oklahoma State next year. Mm -hmm. So she is not just sitting back thinking this thing's just going to die. She is currently working to train someone to replace her. So tell us a little bit about that. Yeah, so um, I'm, I'm president, well, co-president of our 4-H club in, uh, at Plainview High, at Plainview. But um, there's little kids there that I've kind of mentored along the way to hopefully eventually take over. That's You're so doing great. doing such good work, and yeah. I, know, I know we are proud of you. No, <laughs> you are especially very yeah, proud. Yeah, I am, and let me tell you what I do. I have a firm here in Oklahoma City called McIntyre Law, and what I do is I try to recognize young adults such as yourself. I used to say kids, but you're not kids. Young adults <laughs> such as yourself that are making a difference in the world because there's not enough people doing that. And so what I've done is I've tried to find those young adults and tell them, you know what, on behalf of myself and my firm, thank you. Uh, I've got a couple things for you. I have one. It's a certificate. For, uh, you're the you. January first 2020 winner of the hey, Nobel Prize hey. of this decade. But I also have for your county 4 H, Carter County 4 H, a check for $150, and then I have a check for you for $100. And it's just my way of saying thank you. Keep it up. Everybody here is very, very proud of you, and I, we all expect good things. I expect that you're going to be the next kid president on YouTube. <laughs> yeah. That's what it is. Thank you. You're like very it. welcome. Well, thank you so much for coming in and sharing about Socktober. That is yeah. such a great cause. We're so proud of you, and thank you for making all well, this happen. Yeah. We appreciate it. Congratulations, and good luck with your noble cause in the future. And if you know a young person making a difference in your community, let us know about it. Send us an email to okay, livingok at okcbox.com.